okay front end third party payment gateway api in this project we followed three layered api This is fine. So in this project, we followed three layer API layer architecture where we have system layer to connect with to connect with different external system like Salesforce and database. We have process API where we applied all the business logic and we have experience layer to expose our API to external world like web application or mobile application. I was involved in different phase of this project like requirement gathering, development, testing, support, deployment and production support for a few months. Here we followed API development lifecycle starting from demo creation and demo creation or design center published on exchange feedback from VA. VA, then development, unit testing and unit testing, applying policy and security, deployment and support. Okay, everything uh, you, I was involved. Then for code checking, we use Git repository for deployment. We had Jenkins pipe, CICD pipeline. On security part, we use JWT token, client ID enforcement, rate limiting, HTTP caching. We used cloud of deployment model for this project. So this you can tell about your project. And they may ask few cross question like how scheduler API worked. So you need to explain what we did in scheduler API. You need to go through detail and you need to explain in detail. First, we called retrieve payment. From there, we faced all the payment detail. Then we call this record payment. Sorry, first we called retrieve payment with the status as for that particular date interval. Then wherever like whatever payment reference id we got using that filter at the same time we called order status api and we retrieve all the api having state like all the transaction made within that particular duration then from first call whatever response we got for each payment detail we checked what is the status from order status api if that is status is C, then we replaced status from S to C. If fail, then we replaced from S to failed F. Okay, here, since we had huge number of record, so either you can mention we used parallel processing or we used batch processing. Is it clear to everyone? Like we are discussing about this scenario. This scenario. This one is not more clear. This one. So first we will call retrieve payment and order status parallelly. Then from here we will get all the payment, all the payment detail having status as for that particular date range. And from here we will get all the payment status within that particular date range. Then we will check here we will update that status from S to whatever we will get from here using this update payment API. And at the end, once this scheduler process will be completed, we will send one notification to support team through email like this. That processing completed successfully. Okay, so this this API. Now, what challenge you faced? Okay, anyone has any query on this part? Let me know. Uh, Ravi, how does the feedback works uh, usually in the real life uh, from BA? They okay. just go to, they go to like the platform and they just check or you give them like the link or? Yeah. 
Okay. Mm, so if you will say, uh, like, ask me frankly, then no one follow this pattern. Okay. No one, I'm like, I have never gone for to be a people for feedback. Okay. I used to develop RAML, publish on exchange, and then I start developing. But yeah, we used to share API spec to front end team, and they follow this API spec to do their development. Okay. But I'm not sure like if there is any project they are following this pattern. So once we get requirement from BA people, we, we just ignore BA people till UAT. If we have any open question, we used to ask, but we don't ask them to go through demo and check and give feedback. Okay. And then the, the, the front end, uh, they, yeah, they just they like, give them a link or? Yeah, they will keep following you for this API spec and all. Since that helps uh, them a lot to de do their forward like development. So they want to know field and field name and all. So they they need your API detail. Okay. So, so what do you give them? You give them from the platform like a yeah like exchange you... exchange. We used to give them exchange of uh, sorry access of exchange, and we okay. used to share API uh, this. Uh, Postman curl also. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks. Uh, Ravi, if there will be any uh, change request comes, like how it will be implemented? Change CR request. Okay, that that will keep coming. Like, uh, like uh, we are working on this agile methodology. Okay, so that change request either they can yeah they used to come up with a change request on release wise. Okay, for example. Uh, I'm working on release one. So they will come up with, with few new new requirement and a few change request. And they will tell us, look, okay, this is the our target for this particular release. And we have three to four sprint to complete all these things. So then we need to identify like what should be priority to complete, which task should be completed first that we need to decide. Okay. Okay, so and any other query or should we proceed? Um, just to clarify, we're gonna see the JWT token, right? Uh, yeah, that that policy part I will take. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, now coming to third question. Here, right now, I have one scenario, but I will keep adding. So maybe in future I will keep posting. So what challenge you faced in your project? So here I created one scenario. Okay. In this scenario, I mentioned like there was one Azure block storage system. First, we used their connector, okay, the third party connector, but uh, it worked good on lower environment. But when our code moved on higher environment, then it start throwing error. Okay. So what we did? Uh, first, we connected with Salesforce, uh, sorry, Millsoft support team. They told they will not support for this connector since this is provided by third party API, th sorry, third party system. Okay, so if you want any support, you need to check with them directly. And mostly they charge if you want to ask them to fix something, they will charge you. Okay, so company will not ready to pay that. So what we did, we found some internet and we explored internet and we got to connect with Azure Blob Storage. Uh, they used to provide REST API also, and we have already HTTP connector. So what we did, oh, I'm getting one urgent call. Just give me one minute.
sorry. So first thing, like uh, Millsop support didn't sub did any kind of help since that uh, connector is third party. Okay, in Millsop you will get many connector that is third party connector. Okay, so you can use that connector. That connector fulfill all the uh, like there are cert certain uh, like you can say if you want to publish your connector to Millsop Exchange. Okay, as a standard connector then you need to fulfill some like what you can say standards okay so if you will meet that standards then you can publish your connector on exchange so there are many company to make their name or due to many reason they used to develop different different connector and they used to publish on exchange you can use that connector free of cost few connector will be paid one but most of the connector will be free of cost you can use in your project but if there will be any issue or any bug with that connector, MuleSoft support team will not support you. So Azure Blob Storage Connector also have similar kind of issue that is provided by third party and MuleSoft support team don't support. So they strictly decline to support and they ask to connect with that. And they will, if we will go to that third party, they will charge some amount. So what we decided, we will find some alternative. And when, when we explored on internet, we found Azure Blob Storage provide their REST API, okay? And to call their REST API, there are multiple way to generate security token. One is SaaS token, okay? So there, what we did first using Java code, we developed SaaS token and then we called Azure Blob Storage through REST API and successfully we are able to make, make connection. And that, that uh, this particular connection worked perfectly on higher environment also. So this was like uh, you can say what what was the problem you faced and how you resolved it. Since it, it like uh, start creating problem on your higher environment, after every six hour you need to restart your environment since it that API was start giving connection timeout. Okay, so this this you can use as a challenge what you faced in your project. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, uh, what, quick question on this one. Um, mm -hmm. Ravi, uh, when you worked uh, on the payment module for two months, um, what are the challenges you faced? Does that maybe we can mention a little bit about that that we can yeah, use? Yeah. In my case, like uh, here we don't have payment gateway API, but I used actual payment gateway API. First challenge was like security part. They are very much secure and they they were using auth connection okay so to first thing uh, connecting with their network it was really challenging so we were connecting with their network but there was something uh, like something wrong with that network connectivity from my company network to payment gateway network so it took more than one week to resolve that issue so network team from both the company were involved from payment gateway and from my company and finally they found like they took one week to find out the issue but finally that connection was successful that was first thing network connection that was really like at the very starting it was it looks like like i did something wrong or i am unable to make proper connection but finally i came to know okay it was network issue and that was like supported by some other like payment gateway vendor okay so it's not like within your organization you have different team you can connect directly every time you need to arrange call like meeting you need to check their availability so it was not very like uh, easy task to make uh, interaction with them okay so they have very busy schedule you need to find out when they are free for small small issue also you need to wait for one two days Okay, and for your project, definitely you will have some deadline. You need to complete your task on within deadline. So it was really like very challenging for me since I have to meet my deadline and I need to coordinate with team, which is not very easily accessible. Okay, so first I faced issue in network. Then second, when network connection is done, then to connect with Payment gateway itself was challenging since to get actual data, we need to 
make three call okay in first call or like uh, you need to call that payment gateway system and they will give you some uh, they will give you X authorization token okay that they were using this OAuth one okay so they will give you authorization token so they will you will call their authorization server and they will give you auth token now using that OAuth token you will call another api to give they will give you that that api will give you a statement id okay now again using that OAuth token and statement id you will make third call to get data now again data was multi-part data multi-part data means uh, one response payload will be divided into two part one will be json payload another one is xml payload okay so first part like in that particular data first part was containing key okay and second part was encrypted data which was actual data so in first part you first from first part you will get that key and using that key you will decrypt second part and then you will get actual data so this process was also very complex to get data from that third party system is it clear yes that's good thank you yeah. so this part you can also tell them connection work with first thing connection with uh, their network and second extracting data from their api both things were challenging and you had some deadline you need to meet that deadline so it was really challenging for you okay we can just say third party because mine is a retail e-commerce so i'm not sure like what kind of gateway usually the e-commerce uses oh, yeah. city bank you can tell city bank many places like many companies use city bank you can use paypal one visa mastercard all our payment gateway and okay. these all are widely used Okay, yes, that, that part also I will include in what challenge you faced, but yeah, I need some time. Okay, fine. So we are done with this discussion. Next, we will discuss about this security and policy, okay? Break this recording. <clears throat>